on this and I uh, after years of saving a set of headers it turns out they weren't for a Chevy truck they were actually for a G body I think but I made them work anyway and uh, they were touching the uh, control arm a little bit and stuff on both sides I think it they're already rusty as hell from the crap on the roads after one winter so I think it just ripped a hole right in the header but so another set of new headers gonna come to this but anyway about a month or so ago um, talked to a guy in town which uh, been trying to um, Know, kind of make a name for myself and meet all the locals and stuff like that. Uh, so I talked to this guy who's got a small repair shop. And he said, oh yeah, I saw that you pick up junk and stuff like that. And he said, uh, you know, I got this old uh, ATV frame basically you know missing an engine but I got that laying in my yard and a couple things and I also got um, this you know truck cap that I got from my Dakota but it didn't fit so I'm really not sure what it fits uh, so I said well you know not much I can do with a fiberglass truck cap I mean I haven't had good luck selling caps in the past, but, um, you know, and I certainly don't have anything that it fits, um, but I kind of thought that I made it clear that, you know, really wasn't interested in that so much, but um, the other day, I guess he was driving by through my neighborhood, he saw me outside, so we pulled in, and, you know, we were shooting the shit. I never really met him before, kind of became friends on Facebook there and stuff, you know, way to him on the streets, but uh, we got talking and he says, uh, he says, hey, you ever going to come by and get that stuff out of my yard? It's like, you know, at the time he said it wasn't a, wasn't a big rush. I mean, he wasn't mad or anything that I didn't come get it, but. You know, he had mentioned before that it was no no big deal. It was just sitting there. If I wanted it, fine. If not, I really never gave him a straight answer either way. But I said, you know, 
I'll swing over and take a look at some point. It's usually what I say anyway. But, um... So, anyway, yeah, so he says, yeah, are you ever going to come over? And, and I said, well... I said, yeah, yeah. I said, I hadn't, uh... You know, just hadn't made it over there yet. Um, you know, I didn't think it was a huge deal. He, oh, no, no, it's a, not a huge deal. But... I hate to see that cap get ruined, you know, I'd like you to pick it up, and, and so anyway, I guess, in his mind, I, I guess I agreed without knowing that I was picking this cap up, so I said, you know, it's one of those things where, you know, maybe sometimes you got to pick something up that you don't really want to, uh, in order to get the good stuff, and, uh, you know, I've been through that many times. So, so I uh, about a, you know a few days later, it was uh, I think it was uh, Saturday. Yeah, it was this past Saturday. I said, you know, I'm gonna take a ride over and uh, see what this guy, you know, see see his place, see what he's got, make him happy, pick the stuff up. So. I went over there, and they were out, him and another guy were outside, right on the ground, it's only about 15, 20 degrees out, and they're, they're switching out a rear end in a Chevy Colorado uh, pickup, you know, that is a small pickup, you know, but uh, anyway, all rusty and shit, and anyway, they're out there, replacing that rear end, and I pulled up, and showed me this cap and stuff, um, and he said, yeah, I got this Polaris, uh, ATV sitting over here, it's just missing the engine, uh, so, the guy was a pretty cool guy, his friend was nice, and they, um, they just started chiseling this cap out of the ice, so I said, well, I guess it's, uh, it's for real at this point. I guess I really am taking this cap, but uh, I figured might as well. Maybe I could sell it, try to get 50 bucks for it or something. So then he said, oh, the other guy said, yeah, you want this, uh, can you take this old rear end and, you know, comes out of this truck? Yeah, that's, you know, I mean, that's the stuff I really want number one steel rear end so it's only uh, it was only about maybe three minutes you know from where I live to his place so we shot the shit and everything and uh, I ended up bringing the cap back and throwing it in the snow pile getting it getting that out of the truck so that we can get the um, the ATV and uh, you know, the other stuff that he had. So, it's kind of weird. Uh, ever since I moved into this small town, you know, doing what I do, uh, it's kind of tough to get in, you know, know the right people and uh, try to make a name for myself, get people to, uh, to know my name call me, you know, when they got stuff to get rid of. It turns out there was, uh, there was one guy and his dad that were famous in the area for, uh, they picked up all the junk and they did it all. I mean, they, they picked up the cars, uh, any scrap metal. I mean, they were the guys to do it. And, uh, they, I mean, they did, you know, there's all kinds of stories about the sketchy loads that they did with, uh, you know, car, you know, three, three cars crushed and strapped down to the trailer, and then, you know, they'd head down to Bangor and uh, cash them in. But anyway, every single place that I went to, every house that I got a call to go and pick up junk or whatever, any clean out I did, any any car I picked up, everyone always 
said, oh, there used to be a guy that did it, you know, but he just stopped doing it. So, it turns out the story I got was the guy's dad uh, passed away, and he was uh, pretty torn up from that. And, you know, he grew up and, you know, all throughout the years making money off scrap metal and that's what they did every single day so and they did it together but um, so he sort of lost interest in that and just uh, just kind of retired from it didn't answer his phone people wanted to pick stuff up no, he didn't want it so then I come into town so anyway people start saying yeah this is, you know telling me about him so there I am standing at the guy's place picking up this stuff and a guy walks into the yard and starts talking to him turns out it's the guy that everyone tells me about and the guy that used to scrap all the metal so like I said, this is unbelievable. I finally get to meet the guy, you know. So anyway, he started looking. He was looking at my truck, and he loved it, you know. Oh, I used to have one like this, you know, the straight six, three on the tree, just to scrap all kinds of metal with it. And uh, so it was pretty cool. So I talked to him a little bit, and uh, so... The guy that used to scrap everything in the small town, it's only about 4,000 people in this town, um, he says to me, you taking junk cars? And I said, yeah, I'm taking junk cars. And he said, well, I, I got one. I'm moving to Vegas. He said, I'm getting out of here. There's, they're paying more for scrap in Vegas, and he said, uh, it's warmer there, and I'm getting the hell out of here anyway so I got a Dodge Caravan and uh, how much you paying so I said it's got a factory cat yep you got a title yep so it's kind of funny so we exchanged numbers and uh, he's gonna give me a call when he's ready for me to come pick that up we made a deal on it and everything so So the guy, um, so anyway, the guy that I picked the stuff up for there in his yard, he was pretty happy to get stuff cleaned up, and he threw in some other stuff, a couple of old school uh, visors for, you know, the older Chevy trucks and stuff, um, and he gave me a few things like that, and he said, and, uh, you know, he had, um, I spotted he had like a Jeep Cherokee and stuff in his yard, kind of missing some parts kind of look like it might be junk so um so you know I had my eye on that and uh so he had a it was an old wooden canoe really old um that had like a fiberglass kind of sheeting on the outside of it but the inside was wood and uh he that was sitting on the cap and at first you know he said oh you, you know you probably, you know, any interest in this canoe and the thing's like, you know, pretty much busted in half. I mean, you know, it's, it should be just, you know, basically at this point lit on fire. But, um, you know, right away I said, you know, no, I, I can't do anything with that. You know, it's bad enough. And I didn't say this to him, but I mean, it's bad enough that I'm taking the fiberglass cap I'm going to be stuck with. But, um, so after everything I said, you know, I said, you think the dump will take that canoe? And he said, well, he said, I don't see why not. He said, why? And I said, well, you know what? I said, let's throw the canoe on top. The dump's still open for an hour. It was Saturday. And uh, I said, I'll get rid of that canoe for you. That way, you know, clean up your whole yard. Well, the guy, needless to say, was happy. And, uh, you know, he didn't have to deal with it. So... So then it doesn't end there. So I throw on this canoe.
and then I take off to the dump. When I get to the dump, there's an old guy sitting in a truck there by the wood pile. All the scrap wood they throw into a burn pit. And uh, he gets out, oh, wait, wait, hey, uh, you're not getting rid of that canoe, are you? And I said, yeah, I'm getting rid of the canoe. And he said, well, can I have it? And I said, sure you can. I said, what do you, you want it in your truck? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I said, it's broken in half. I said, you know, and he's like, yeah, but I want to cut one in half and use it as a sled, a uh, tow sled for ice fishing. So I said, well, here you go. So um, <clears throat> I backed over to his truck, and once we turned it over, he saw that some of it was fiberglass, some was wood, and he decided, you know, I'm sorry. He said, I, I really don't want it. I said, well, help me throw it in the pile. So we, uh, we tossed it off into the scrap pile, and he said, and he looked at my truck and said, hey, where are you out of? I said, I'm right in town. And he said, oh, well, uh, I got a, um, my son is coming to clean out his house up here, and there's a, there's a car in the garage, and I'm pretty sure he wants to junk it. Would you pick that up? And I said, yes, sir, I sure would. And so gave him my card, and he said, all right, I'll have him give you a call. And then, I don't think I mentioned before I left the other guy's house with the canoe and stuff, he did say, I'll probably have some more stuff for you, and I'll probably have you come pick up that Cherokee over there, because I'm pretty much done stripping parts off of it. And I said, well, that's, that's what I figured, and uh, so here we go. So, the moral of the story is, by cleaning up this guy's yard and taking things a small ride down to the dump which didn't really cost me anything to get rid of a canoe and possibly I listed the cap for $50 I listed the Polaris ATV for $50 and I'm actually heading right now to meet a guy that wants to buy it um, so doing that and making that guy happy in turn I may have got three junk vehicles out of that day just because I drove over there and picked up this guy's crap I could possibly get three junk cars and also made a couple of friends you know so I got my name out there the guy that used to scrap, he says, yeah, people still call me. He said, I'll just give him your number. So I probably should have found this guy a lot sooner because he's been getting calls to pick stuff up, and he just tells the people, no, ain't doing it. Sorry, can't help you. And there still is a lot of junk laying around in this town, a lot of junk cars that I see. So there you go. Well, five minutes meeting that guy. Hopefully I can put 50 bucks in my pocket and get this thing out of the back. And uh, that's uh, definitely more than I would get in scrap. And uh, with the tires on it, who knows if they would even, they'd probably end up charging me for the tires, who knows. But hopefully this guy buys it and uh, it works out.
a good sign. Looks like this guy's got a Jeep Liberty. He's not ready to uh, pick anything up. It doesn't look like we're making 50 bucks today. Don't know how serious he was about buying it, being in a Jeep Liberty. But I guess I could have dropped it off if he was in town. He needed some parts that weren't there. So I don't know if he was just trying to, hoping he could pick some parts off of it from me or what, but. A couple other people online there are uh, interested on the old marketplace, except uh, everyone wants to trade some stuff. The guy wanted to trade me a 19 inch TV and a chainsaw that didn't run. <laughs> so I'm not going to help me out. 50 bucks is going to help me out a lot more than, uh, than those things, bud. But thanks anyway. Listed that cap on there, 50 bucks. It's a nice cap. Uh, maybe it fits S10, maybe it fits Ranger. Don't know. But, you know, put on there. I don't know what it fits. I don't know, I don't know. But, you still get the messages. Will this fit my Toyota? Will this fit my Nissan? I don't know. But you know what? You want to drive your truck on down here? I'll help you lift that thing right on. See if she fits.
see the nice truck gets to block the driveway the nice new truck with the chrome mirrors